because like here in Canada is mandatory for like elementary school. They teach you French. Um, but then again, like I haven't used it ever. I was taught in elementary. I haven't used it. So I just like, I lost the skill. I don't know how to speak it anymore. I think being in the US, both Chinese and Spanish comes in handy for sure, for sure. But I'm in Canada, so we don't get like much Chinese or, or Spanish here. Travis, what's up? Good afternoon, how's it going? It's gonna get hot in here real quick. Where's my, my AC? Gotta find my AC hose. What does that mean? Are Canadians really friendly? It depends on the person. I'm sure there are Canadians that are very unfriendly and I'm sure that there are Canadians that are very friendly. That question is way too general. I can't speak like generally like that. How come TikTok and Instagram never ban you? Because I don't do anything that's bannable. What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? I was just like, why don't you go to jail? It's because I don't do anything illegal. <laughs> that's a silly question. What's your biggest ick in a person? Someone that's very indecisive and not consistent. I don't like that. Um, I also don't like smoke. Like, if you smoke cigarettes, I, I just don't understand it. And I got the ick from like my parents, like cause my parents smoke, they smoke their whole lives. It's just like smoking cigarettes is like a huge ick for me, a huge ick for me. Jason, Travis, thank you for the tips. I appreciate the love. I appreciate that. I don't know. It's, it's like, it's like the money thing. Like with smoking, it's like money. It costs a fuck ton of money to smoke. It's horrible for your health. So like, if I'm looking for a partner, honestly, I would like to die before my partner does. So it's like, I don't want them, I don't I don't want them to be as healthy as possible. So I don't, wouldn't support smoking. So money, health, um, like the breath, smoking breath and stuff. I don't, I'm not gonna wanna kiss you if I don't like it. I hate it. It's like, it's stuffy. The smell is like stuffy. Your teeth are gonna turn yellow. Your skin's gonna get wrinkly faster. It kills the elastin in your skin. It's just like a whole entire package of just like, just like shit. And then you waste a fuck ton of money on it. Yeah, bad on your lungs, there's a little bit of everything. So I just don't get it. I just don't get smoking at all. Can you do a backflip? I can't. I can do a front flip, not like on a trampoline, but like not a backflip, no. I get psyched out too much. Summer, thank you very much for the tips. I appreciate the roses. No iced coffee today. I do have one. I went and got one, but it's in the fridge downstairs. I'm actually gonna have to run downstairs to grab like my water and coffee here in a, in a few. Good afternoon, good afternoon. What is that, something about a passport? I just got my passport, can I visit Canada? Um, oh, I can visit Canada, recommended place to visit. It depends on what you like. So if you like cities, if you like the city life, go to Toronto, check Toronto out. If you like nature and forests and like the coast and ocean and just like shit like that, go to BC. Those are your two best options. It, it depends on who you individual though and like what you what you're looking to get out of it and like what you see. It's like it really, really, really dependent. Scarlet, I appreciate all the roses. Travis, I appreciate all the boom boxes. Thank you so much. 
how come you've never traveled abroad? I've just never found the time and I've never had the urge to. Like if I wanna go somewhere, I will, but I just don't have the urge to. I'm busy as it is. I have lots of obligations. So I just haven't had time to like build up the want to go traveling. So I just haven't, I guess. Thanks for all the love. Thanks for all the shares. Thanks for all the follows, everyone. Thank you for all the tips. If I'm missing the tips, I'm very sorry. I'm trying my best. Um, is it cold in Canada? It depends. It depends. Like we have very like drastic seasons. So like, like the winters are super cold and like frigid and windy and nasty. Lots of snow. I mean, the summers are very like hot and dry, but we get like a good six months of six to eight months of like um, winter. Like it's pretty cold, but then the summers get pretty hot. It really depends on who you are though, right? Because like hot for me is like anything in the 20s. I'm fucking dying. I hate it. And like 20s for some people is like is like nice and cool. They, they fuck with it. So it depends on like who you are, what you're accustomed to, like what you're used to. I say it's pretty... um. Yeah, it's pretty cold most of the year, though. Like, like if you don't fuck with cold weather at all, you're not going to like Canada. If BC and Toronto are fine. You're a little further away. But if you're, like, Saskatchewan, Alberta, um, and even, like, Yukon and stuff, you're fucked. You're fucked. It stays cold for a long time. It's my, like, one gripe about, like, Canada. Is this, like, is this cold for so long? For me, though, I'm looking for a place in, like, Texas, Hawaii, maybe Arizona, because I need a place to go, me, me uh, no, yeah, yeah, so those places, I was thinking, like, I'd go there for the winters, like, when it's winter here in Canada, to escape the cold, I would go over there, so that's, like, a potential option. Don't forget Winnipeg is my, yeah, same thing, same thing, yeah, Winnipeg's just as fucking cold, minus 50, yeah, some days, some days, it's brutal. Like some days you'll go outside and it will like hurt. It'll hurt your lungs to breathe. It's so fucking cold. You'll like blink and your eyelashes will get like frosted together. The tips of your hair will turn white. It's so bad. It's horrible. It's literally 100 degrees in Texas. Yeah, that's Fahrenheit though. We're Celsius. So it's a little bit, it's different. It's a little bit different. I've never been to Nova Scotia. No, I've never been. There's a lot of homeless in Hawaii. I was so shocked. You know what though? If I were to be, here's the thing though. Do you blame them? Do you blame them? If I were homeless, I would choose Hawaii too. That sounds fucking great. That sounds great. I don't understand the homeless people here in like Edmonton because it's so fucking cold. If you're homeless in Edmonton, if I were homeless in Edmonton, I would walk my ass all the way down to Mexico. I would just fucking walk there. Like I don't have belongings or anything. I would just walk there. I couldn't do the cold winters homeless here. It'd be fucking crazy. When will you do a video with another person? Never, never. The cost of living there is insane. Uh, Hawaii, Hawaii, I could imagine, I could imagine. Have you ever been to Vancouver? Yeah. I used to go to Vancouver a lot because I had an aunt there. An aunt, aunt. I had pet aunts. I had an aunt that lived in um, BC, Vancouver. And they had a, it was a Theodis or Shamanis Island. They had a cabin on there too. So I was there a lot. I went there like for a lot of summers. I'm very familiar with BC. I love the like ancient forests and stuff. I love the mountains, the ancient forests. I've never been to Nevada. When did you get a nose ring? When I was like 17, 18, I'm not sure exactly. I'm not sure exactly. It was kind of one of those things I was at the mall and it was like around my birthday. So I was just like, oh, quick birthday gift. I'm gonna get my nose pierced. It was like a spontaneous thing. Uh, when are you doing a sub only? I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't plan on one anytime like soon, but like down the future, if it's in like high enough demand, I definitely will. Are you wearing makeup on your face right now? I'm not. That's why I'm so red. Look, you wouldn't see the skin changes color when I press on it. I'm a very red boy. It's hot in here though. It was fucking hot.
Have you been to the beach lately? I have not been to the beach lately. What's your back? Turn on the AC. It is on. It's just not, it doesn't get, it doesn't get cold enough fast enough. Here's the thing in the room I'm in right now, I have a computer that runs really fucking hot. I have an air purifier that runs like pretty hot too. So like the AC fights with like the heat coming in through the windows, my computer putting off a fuck ton of heat, like a TV and AC. So like it's a constant battle trying to keep it nice and cool in my office, unfortunately. Scarlett and Travis, thank you for all of the tips. I appreciate the love. Have I ever been zip lining? I've never been zip lining. I don't I wouldn't fuck with zip lining or bungee jumping just because there's like something mechanical can fuck up, I feel, and you like rely on it heavily. I would go skydiving though, and I am well aware like the parachute is like a mechanical device, but I just have a little bit more faith and you have like a backup. That's why I stopped liking like rides so much. Cause you like, you're like, you're like, oh, when you're young, you're like, okay, yeah, these rides, they're, they're, you're, okay. Here's the thing about like rides. I loved going to like K days. I loved going to like Disney world. Um, I loved it. I love rides, roller coasters, all that shit. But then you realize like being a mechanic and going to school and you realize like what's holding this shit together and like human error is involved in stuff. So I just get like a little freaked out now, you know, because like people are like, especially when setting up like little carnivals like that for a week or two, they slap it together so quickly. And it's just like, there's so much room for error. And you see videos that like go around on TikTok of like the machines fucking up and people flying off. And so it's just, it's just a real scare now. Cause it's happened and you've seen it and it's fucked up. And I've worked like in the industry of like machinery and what holds it together and like the maintenance and stuff. And it's just, it's just a little spooky for me now. Scarlett and Travis, thank you for all of the love. Thank you for all the tips. Um, some about alcohol. Do you get alcohol flush reaction? No. No, I digest. I can, uh, I, I know what you mean. Some people have lacking uh, an enzyme that breaks down alcohol. I don't. I'm good with alcohol. I'm very good with alcohol. Introvert or extrovert? I'm an introvert. Canadian or American? I'm Canadian. Do you listen to Doja Cat? No. Unless it's like a trending song, I don't I don't listen to Doja Cat. Jake, how's your day so far? It's a it's a boring day. It's a boring day. I just got to do like work and errands and I have really bad allergies, so like I took some reactant. So I just feel like, you know. Anyone that takes like allergy pills just knows it feels like gray and dull and just like it just feels boring, you know? It affects your like central nervous system, so it is what it is. So that's why I'm a little like I'm I'm fucking slow today. If you guys like don't like I'm very slow today, it's because I have like antihistamines in the system and I'm not as like sharp as I usually am. So I'm like extra just like cloudy, if you guys are wondering. So I'm not going to be as fast answering the questions. So you probably just get to stare at me looking confused for a lot of the time, but it's okay. I know some of you still enjoy it. Enjoy hanging out. I hate, I, I do my best, my absolute fucking best to not take allergy pills because then I come real reliant on them. But some days it's like, it's a Saturday. It's nice out. I don't want to just like have the whole day shot with me just like sneezing and blowing my nose and stuff. So I had to do it. What's that? Someone said, what's your sexuality? You don't need to answer. I'm unlabeled. I'm unlabeled. I don't feel a need to put a label on my sexuality. Like what I enjoy on my private time and who I enjoy and what turns me on is kind of like a personal thing. It's not like a, a public thing and shouldn't be a public thing. Um, it's changed a lot over the years. People are always developing and trying new things. And like, they even like things happen where you don't like realize it's like maybe not even a try. It's just like you, you don't expect it and it happens. You're like, oh, am I into this? Maybe I'm into this. 
So I never put a label on it because then if I slap a label on it and then people ask me a year down the line when I'm changing and developing and like learning new things and experiencing new things. And then I change my answer and they're like, you're a fucking liar. So I'm just unlabeled. It is what it is. I'm down for like pretty much anything. I'm, I'm down for pretty much anything. I'm pretty like, I guess easygoing, experimental. Like I don't have any like biases or anything. I'm a general guy. What's your skincare routine? I don't have one. I don't have one. I like hardly, I hardly do anything for my skin. Drink lots of water. That's the best tip I can give you. Drink a fuck ton of water. It's so good for your skin. And don't overwash your face. Don't be washing it all the time. You gotta think of your skin, like think of your skin as like a community of like cells and bacteria and stuff like it's living you're 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 living so if you're washing it and fucking it up all the time it's not good it's not good for it it'll overproduce oils you'll have really oily skin um yeah and then that's a breeding ground a, a breeding ground for bacteria a lot of people get it twisted they're always washing their face always trying to cleanse their face and shit no let it be let it be stop touching your face change your pillowcase keep your hair off your face Simple, simple. Can you remove the filters? There's no filters on, but I can like add filters, I guess, if you want. Um, let's see, how do you add filters on this? Like, so this is stickers, effects. Where are filters? Can you even do filters on here? Effects, maybe? Oh, do they have the... Um, trending? Let's see what they got on here, actually. New, atmosphere, face filters. They have makeup ones. Oh. I look fucking cute. What are these? What's this one? Okay. Damn. I kind of fuck with this. I don't like the red lips though. This one, this one looks good though. I'm telling you, this one looks fucking good. Sarah, thank you for the love. I appreciate the tips, Scarlet. I'm just checking out filters. Someone told me to remove filters. Wow, my lips look fucking shiny. So these are the filters. I don't have any, see this is no filters, nothing. So I don't know what to tell you. Greetings from, greetings from Ecuador, much love, much love. Where did you get your bracelet? A fan sent it to me. I got it in the fan mail. So I don't know where it's from. Much love to Peru. You look good with no filters. I appreciate the love. I appreciate that. Those filters are good though. Those filters are like really, really good. They have a bunch for girls, but none for like guys, I guess. What is your PO box? I don't have one anymore. I had one, I had one. But the place I opened up the P.O. box shut down, unfortunately. So I had one, but I don't have one anymore. So like, I would have to move the P.O. box or open up another one, and I just haven't had the time. I just haven't found the time. Can you try funny filters? Sure, let's see what else they got. Effects, cap. Green screen, atmosphere, funny, cap. What's this? This is, not, this is not even that funny. This is not even that funny. Sarah and Scarlett, thank you for the tips. It's not that funny. This is this is gonna be cute. Oh, it's tap the screen. It's a it's the horny one. I fuck with that. It's the it's the it's the horny jail bonk meme. What else we got here? Effects, funny. What's this? That's not funny. These are just glasses. How are these funny? Oh, you can even see a reflection. Okay, okay. 
kind of cute, but my hair fucks it up. There we go. So I got a big head. These are silly. These are silly. Okay, okay. Enough with the filters. I'm here to answer questions and chill. Effects, none. Okay. Okay, okay. What's up? You look like Bryce Hall. Technically, Bryce Hall looks like me. I'm older than the guy. I'm older than Bryce Hall. I came first. It's my look first. Bryce Hall looks like me. Your latest post on Instagram. I'm glad you liked my latest post on Instagram. I appreciate the love. What's your next vacation place? I don't have any vacations planned, honestly. I, I just don't have anything planned. Probably the mountains again. I like to go to the mountains to like vacation. I don't really like to like go too far away. The mountains are nice because I can get away and it's like drivable and it's nice there. Um, that's usually where I go if I need a nice little break. I go to the mountains. I like going in the winter to snowboard, but like in the summer, I guess hiking is nice. Canoeing's cool. Things like that. I love your teeth. Thank you. My parents paid lots of money for these bad boys. I had braces for a long fucking time. So I'm glad you can appreciate them. How'd you get your teeth that white bleaching? No, I just, so here's the thing. I feel like my teeth weren't that great up until like kind of recently. The key to like getting white teeth is like, number one, when you brush your teeth, you don't rinse after. That's the number one thing. You gotta let the fluoride sit on your teeth and do its thing. So don't drink water, don't eat anything for at least like a good fucking hour after you brush your teeth. Like brush your teeth, spit it out, and leave all the fluoride on your teeth. That's that's like a big one. That's a big important one. Um, I do use Crest whitening strips once in a while, the 30 minute ones. It's kind of rare though. I don't use them that often. Ugh, ugh. Which mountains? The Rockies. We have the Rockies near us, the Canadian Rockies. Here, let me do this. I just want to sit back. Ugh. I don't know how to speak Spanish. Jake, run me through Argos. My one character that could do Argos is already done. I have like a, the thing is I have a group. I have a group of like eight guys that I do all the raids with. You need to find like a, you need to find a guild that's looking for like a specific class and has like a slot open. And then you got to raid weekly with them. That's the fun of MMOs. That's the fun of MMOs. What brand of t-shirt do you wear? This one's Adidas. I like those like basic stuff, Nike, Adidas. Zoom this in a little bit for you guys. I feel like it's already zoomed out when I'm leaning back. What's your sexuality? I'm not even sexually active. This is weird. I'm having a horrible day. Say hi to me, please. Hopefully you have a better day. I appreciate the love. Hopefully it gets better. Still chewing, yeah. I'll join this gum the whole live stream. It keeps me busy. It keeps me like occupied to an extent. Show us, what is that? Show us your eyes. These are my eyes, you can see my eyes, what do you mean? Are you a model? I'm not a model, no. There's a regular dude. I'm like a personality. I'm a personality, if anything. You could be a model. I feel like modeling would be so boring. The only reason why I like enjoy taking the content that I make is because I control everything. I control like 
what the theme of the photo is, how I look in the photo, I control the lighting, I get to do the task of taking the photo until I get the perfect photo. Then I get to edit the photo and then I get to show everyone what I created. That's the fun for me. If I'm just like standing around and people are taking photos of me, it would fucking suck. I would be bored out of my absolute mind. I would hate it. I would hate it. So like for me, I don't know, modeling would be real boring. Are you shy outside of social media? Yeah, I am. I am. I don't like to like step on anyone's toes. I like to stay out of the way. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not that like, yeah, I'm very introverted outside of social media. Are you of Croatian descent? No, not that I'm aware of. I'm Ukrainian and Austrian. Thank you for all the tips, Marina. I appreciate the roses. Travis, I appreciate all the roses. Thank you so much. Please do more talking videos on TikTok. What kind of talking videos would you like? I can probably do more talking videos, but it depends on like what you want to see. Someone said, you need a loud boyfriend or girlfriend. Why to offset the like shyness? I would hate that. I would hate that. I feel I hate being in public and like having like super loud, annoying people just like being menaces, you know, starting conflicts, just like doing shit. It's crazy. Someone said, I, I've seen you before in Edmonton. That's not possible. It's not possible. I'm a hologram. I don't exist outside of the internet. Maybe you're going to the wrong places. Yeah, but these are like places I'm obligated to go to. Like I got to go to the mall to like run errands or pick something up. Um, just like things like that, basic things like that. I don't like, I don't like to do them, but I have to do them. Other than that, I'm always out in nature doing shit away from people, away from the public. What inspires creativity when it comes to what you post? For me, it's a lot of like seeing someone's TikTok and being like, okay, I could do this better. Or like I could put a spin on it. Or like I can do a different transition to this or like with this sound or like this angle is nice. It's just a lot of like, it's just like doing it for so long. It's like a sequence in your head and you like, it's like playing a game, right? You, you, so you hear a sound you like and you're like, okay, the sounds, what transitions would go with this? What outfits would go with this? What movements would go with this? What angles would go with this? What kind of like, it's kind of like weird. It's like a matching game that goes on in your head when you see a, when you listen to a sound or see like a transition and you can like match it up and just create content. It's pretty easy after doing it for like a year. How do you spend your money? I don't, I invest all of my money pretty much. I don't spend any money. I'm real bad for it. Baby, thank you for the love. Sarah, thank you for the roses. I appreciate the love. Have you ever been treated differently because of your tattoos? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like when I go shopping and stuff, the security guards are always like following you more so. That's kind of like the main thing is like people just think you're gonna steal shit all the time or people think you're like a mean guy or whatever it is. But like everyone judges, they're just doing their job. I don't care, follow me around. I'm literally just here to shop. Elizabeth, thank you for the roses. The way you're chewing gum, you should do ASMR. I don't know, maybe. I get lots of requests for like ASMR. Would you win a school fight? No, not a chance. I'm not a fighter. I would lose horribly. Give me one second. Give me one second. Oh. 
I am I gotta move something here. You got some bad addictions? Question mark. Someone asked. Uh, the only thing I'm like addicted to is like probably going to the gym because I've been doing it for so long. So when I don't go to the gym, I feel like shit. That could be the only. That was like the only thing I can think of though. So I wouldn't say any bad addictions. I feel like the gym is a good addiction. So nothing bad though. Let's see, it was a sub question, but now it was gone. It went way too quickly. God damn it. Irina, thank you for the roses. Travis, thank you for the boom boxes. I appreciate it. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do, it's in my TikTok bio there. Uh, do you have a phobia? Not really, not really. I'm really good. I feel like if, if, if there's one thing I'm like semi scared of and that would be like germs and stuff. Like I'm always like, if I'm out in public or before I eat my food or when I touch something or I know I've touched something that's been like publicly touched, I gotta wash my hands. I'm very good for that. I'm really good for like not touching like any entrances to my body, my eyes, my ears, my nose, my mouth, um, if exposed to that. So I feel like I'm really good for that. Let me zoom out this so I can get fucking closer. Ugh. Afraid of needles? Yeah. I'm not afraid of... The thing is, like, I'm not afraid of needles. Like, if I need to get a needle, if I need to get it, I can easily sit through it. But I will avoid needles at all costs. And, like, leading up to it, I do get, like, anxious. For some reason, like I, I've had my blood taken, I've had needles, I've had like the whole thing, piercings and stuff. It's just like something that makes me anxious leading up to it. I just like hate it, you know? What's your accent, please? Sorry, but I can't play, I'm Canadian. I'm Canadian, so it'd be a Canadian accent. Do you like cars? I fucking hate cars. I hate cars, horrible investments, depreciates like crazy, costs a fuck ton of money. And if you have a nice car and you're going out driving or parking somewhere, you gotta worry about it. People door dinging you, where you park, hitting shit. Cars fucking suck. Gas is expensive, maintenance is expensive. I don't have a car payment, someone said. Yeah, but even even if you have your car paid off and you don't have a car payment, you're still paying for gas, maintenance, oil changes, tires, um, things go wrong with it, repairs. And then it's just dropping in value the more you drive it because the engine's getting worn out. All of the mechanical parts are getting worn out. If I lived in like somewhere, a country that had better public transit, I would fucking bus and train everywhere. Unfortunately, where I live, like the public transit is absolute ass, like like horrible, beyond means, and it gets super cold. So, no, I'm not being sarcastic about the car thing. I'm not being sarcastic at all about the car thing. I fucking hate cars. Would you ever own a motorcycle? I've had two motorcycles in my life. I still have them, but I don't ride it. It's more for like art. I want to sell my car and ride a bike too many people on the road. Yeah. And traffic isn't even bad. Like where I live. So if you live somewhere, where there's a fuck ton of traffic. Oh, I couldn't imagine Chuck. Good afternoon. Thank you for the weights. How's it going? Happy Saturday. Would you move to Britain? I wouldn't mind moving to Britain. Britain seems nice. Traffic is always a mess here. Yeah, like where I am, it's not too bad, but other like busy cities, 
I would I would hate it. I would I already hate it here, so I couldn't imagine anywhere else. I like I love the I, in big cities in big cities I love the the trend of like getting like a like a motorized longboard or like like something like that you know something like electricals and small where you can like go on the sidewalks or like street it's like portable small enough not extremely big and invasive like a motor vehicle there's like personal transportation like devices I guess is what you would call it I like that trend I like that trend it's like nice. LA traffic is the worst I've ever experienced. Yeah, I couldn't fucking, that's what I'm talking about. I feel like in like places like LA, you're absolutely fucking gridlocked at all times. Someone said, you're so cocky. You're wrong, you're wrong. I don't even assume people think I'm attractive. I had to, I needed like people to tell me I'm attractive before I was aware. Because like I'm well aware everyone likes different things. Everyone has a different preferences. It's like how everyone doesn't like the same food. So how could I assume that everyone thinks I'm attractive when there's like, when it's very subjective? I'm just myself and I'm unapologetic about it. And if you have something with like, if you have something wrong, or if you, yeah, I guess if you, if you feel bad or if you have a problem with someone just being themselves, that's on you. That's projection. I like your TikTok. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Like I like I understand now you guys are like oh you're attractive you're hot like I understand but like like you gotta understand everyone like likes different things so some people can find me very unattractive some people hate tattoos some people are like oh he ruined his body with his tattoos but the thing is the tattoos are for me not for anyone else so it doesn't matter it doesn't matter I enjoy them so that's what matters um, but yeah people who think I'm like I'm like full of myself or cocky or egotistical or whatever it may be is just like is just me being myself. I, I understand you like see the confidence and you're like, oh, this guy is posting thirst traps because he thinks everyone thinks he's attractive. No, I'm just doing what I find fun. And I'm aware that there's a lot of people that don't find me attractive. I'm well aware of it. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop being myself and hide in a shell because I because that's the case. Marvel or DC? I like Marvel. I fucking hate DC. Bores the shit out of me. What's in your home gym? I have a, a cable machine, quad extensions, some like bars, you know, some like bench bars, squat bars, dumbbells all the way up to 85. Um, yeah, it's pretty basic. My gym's pretty basic, like a bench, things like that. Are you nervous? Why are you shaking? So I have a thing. It's not nervous. It's not clearly, clearly I'm not nervous. Um, I have a, uh, so you know people who are like need to be physically stimulated right you know they have like a, a fidget people fidget with things you know whatever it may be some people pull their hair some people bite their nails on um, me i pick out my thumb like this was one of them like all the fucking time until it bleeds um and another one's just tapping my leg on the ground so if you see me like vibrating to some extent it's because i'm just tapping my leg and you see it a lot it's very common Post Malone, I've, I've watched some interviews with Post Malone. He does it a lot. A lot of people fidget like that. So it's just like one of my fidgets. It's like a habit. So it's not me like actually shaking physically vibrate. It is me tapping my leg and, and thus I vibrate slightly. That's what it is. I just need to be like physically stimulated at all times. That's why when I'm sitting down watching TV, I, I sometimes I can't do it. Most of the time I can't do it. I need to be doing something. Video games are my thing because I can my hands can be moving. I can be doing things physically um, And I don't feel like I'm just in a fucking box You're the nicest guy. I appreciate the love. I appreciate that Coffee and water, sir. Yeah, I, the coffee makes it worse. If I'm sipping on a coffee, I get real fucking bouncy. Jace, I pre I, I'm glad you enjoy my personality. Some people don't like it though. A lot of people don't like my personality. 
a lot of it is just like just like assumption and judgmental, but you know, it is what it is. I'm not a doctor. I've never been to Ontario. My favorite video game is Lost Ark. I'm gonna I'm gonna tackle some of these bangers real quick. The one-off questions. Scarlet and Chuck, thank you for the tips. I appreciate the love. I'm actually gonna go grab one sec. I'll be back in a sec. I'm gonna grab my coffee and water. I need to drink something. So just like chat amongst yourselves. Keep it PG. I'll be back in like literally 30 seconds. Give me 30 seconds. Miss Piggy, what's up? Welcome. How we about to prank him? There's no pranks going now. I'm back. Hey, hey, how's it going? I love the pause on the paper. Um, that was from a dog that uh, my girl had a litter and we lost one, unfortunately. So we had to like euthanize her, but I got the pause for uh, memory. So yeah, those are those are her paws. Sarah, Miss Piggy, thank you for the love. He's Canadian, I am Canadian. What are you drinking? Iced caramel macchiato. <sighs> Elizabeth, thank you for the tips. I appreciate the love. Where are your dogs? Somewhere. <whistles> we'll see if I can get one up here. I think Dave will come. I hear them. We'll see. They're doing their own thing. Oh, Davey. Hi, buddy. Come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, hi, Douglas. Hi, this is Dougie. Come here, buddy. Oh. Avocado, thank you for the tip. 
Yeah, Dougie likes this. Dougie likes this. Yeah, you're stinky though. You smell like a campfire or something. That's all. All done. All done. All done. No more. <laughs> all done. All done. One more. What's this? What's this position? Okay. Ah, oh, sorry, buddy. That's Doug. Anime, thank you for the love. Thank you for the tips. I appreciate it. The way he went down, yeah, I slid him down. I slid him down. What is this? Oh, look, I'm covered in hair. Look at that. That's the thing about having fucking dogs. You're always covered in hair. Oh. Now I gotta find a fucking lint roller. Someone said, what is your dream? I have a very constant reoccurring dream. It's like a very scenic dream. It's about like having a house with like a river in like a valley of mountains. It's like very green grass, just like open fields. I have this, I have this dream very often that I have like a little cabin there and it's like really nice. I can like fish out of the river. Yeah, that's, that's like a constant dream I have. Travis and Chuck, thank you for the tips. I appreciate the love. Are you happy in your life? I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. I mean, it's hard to say. It's hard to say like how happy you can actually get. Because you could think like you can think you're pretty happy, but you don't know how happy you could actually be. Um, or you could you could be sad and not really know how sad you could actually be. So it's hard to say, but like I enjoy every day as it is. I enjoy it. I enjoy my life. I'm happy. I'm a happy guy. I'm an optimistic guy. Um, so as far as I know, I'm pretty happy. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's be friends, Jake. Let's be friends. Let's be friends. What's your least favorite Zodiac sign? Scorpio. Don't be like me. How often do you shave your beard? Number one, I never shave. I never shave. I don't like shaving. I only buzz my face. So I get something that buzzes, like a, uh, not a razor, but it's just like a buzzer that buzzes down to the like bare minimum. And I buzz my face every morning because I don't, I don't like, I don't, I don't like facial hair. I'll leave it sometimes for a few days if I'm really busy and I'm not making content. Um, and then you guys will see like that. I actually have like a little bit of facial hair, um, but then I usually just buzz it off the next day. It's usually like a lazy thing, just like not having enough time. Sarah and Chuck, thank you for the tips. I appreciate that. Do you have a sunburn or are you blushing? I think it's a little bit of sun and a little bit of like me being hot currently. Like in my room, it's a little bit more hot. So like my complexion is naturally like pinkish red. You know, I'm like a pink, I have a pinkish red complexion naturally. So it's just like, I don't know. Can you really like see? Yeah. You can kind of like see that's just the way I look. So like my, my neck and my face is like pinkish red and like sun too. I was out in the sun the last few days. So it's, it's a little bit of bull. It's a little bit of bull. What's your opinion on Stranger Things 4? I haven't really watched it. I, I started watching it, but I was like, I was kind of got bored and I was like, whatever. I enjoyed the first two seasons of Stranger Things and then I kind of like fell off and just kind of became almost like, I don't like shows like Stranger Things. I do and I don't. There's like, they just don't keep me interested. I started watching The Lincoln Lawyer. It's just a little more exciting to me. JJ, I appreciate the sub. Jason Chuck, thank you for the tips. I'm really sorry. I'm probably missing a lot of tips and a lot of subs and everyone who's like liking the shit out of the stream and sharing it. I really appreciate it. Everyone who's like chatting with me and asking like good, genuine questions and just hanging out. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the love a lot. 
Thank you so much. Thank you. So whatever you're doing, if you're tapping the screen and giving me likes, I'm fucking spitting everywhere. If you're giving me a bunch of likes or tipping, I really, really appreciate it. Do you have any sponsors? No, I don't take any sponsors. I have like a ton of people that email me trying to get me to like, how do you guys, how do you guys feel about like people who advertise stuff? Because like I've turned down every single advertising opportunity. They usually offer a fuck ton of money, but like, I really don't care. Um, I just don't feel right pushing like products onto my fans that like, you to like have fun. I don't want to give them more ads in life. They already need ads on, they already got ads on YouTube. They already got ads like everywhere else. I feel like it'd just be fucking annoying. I feel like the one thing that like would be fun to do is like get some merch made, like a hoodie or something with like a custom like design, something that I would like that I would wear. Cause like there's nothing better than a comfy fucking hoodie. I love it. Um, another one is guys, I actually had an offer from a, a fragrance company. The fragrance company hit me up and they wanted to do a custom fragrance for me because I don't do any fragrances. I don't wear anything. I don't whatever. So they said I could go in and literally like hand make one. It's one that I like. One that I enjoy. A fragrance. Like a, like a cologne perfume. So then that's like that's an interesting one I think. That's, that was the, one of the most interesting ones. Other than that I don't really like like pushing products or anything. I don't, I'm not... I'm not obligated to. I don't need to do it for money. So it's just kind of one of those things. Um, but other than that, I feel like, yeah, hoodies or t-shirts or something would be cool. Um, and the fragrance one seems pretty cool as well. It's just like a whole other thing. If I had to like do that, it would be like a whole other thing I'd have to worry about. Brown eyed. Thank you very much for the roses. I can't read your full name. Unfortunately, it cuts it off. But brown eyed, I appreciate the love. I appreciate the tips. Why are you so inactive on Instagram? Because Instagram isn't fun. Instagram isn't fun like TikTok is. TikTok is fun because there's trends and there's like great stuff. Like Instagram is all pictures and it's boring to me. Like I've take I've taken so many pictures in my life that it's just like it's whatever. If I have an idea, I'll take a quick photo and throw it up for everyone to enjoy. But other than that, like Instagram's pretty fucking dead. Like I still upload here and there, but I don't I don't go out of my way to like upload on Instagram, you know. So TikTok is your favorite app? Yeah, I guess you could say that. For the most part, it is. It is the most entertaining by far. By far. Do you snort when you laugh too hard? Not when I laugh too hard. I feel like I sound like a hyena or like a weasel or something when I laugh too hard. Um, I think I, I snort when I get caught off guard and laugh. It's like an off guard laugh, like an unexpected laugh. That's when I snort. It's, it's very, very rare. It happens only a few times a year, but yeah, it happens. It happens. Avocado, thank you for the tips. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the love. Um, someone said, have you felt uncomfortable with the comments women make about you? Well, it's women and men. And here's the thing. I don't. I don't. The thing about me, the thing about me is that like I'm... I do what I do because I don't give a fuck. Like I really, I lack the ability to like, to like feel other people's like words. You know, some people get really offended off of like a simple word of what people say. So I, I, I lack that feeling. So it's really easy for me to do what I want. So whether it's positive or negative, um, I just, I just lack the feeling. So it's good. Cause I can, I can, I can easily like, it's kind of bad cause I don't have much of a moral compass when I'm posting content, you know? Like I'm just, I'm just myself and I do what I think is going to be fun. That's it. So like people will find a lot of my stuff cringy, which is okay. It's cool. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of lack that ability. So like the, the overly sexualized comments, I suppose, um, don't affect me. The negative comments don't affect me. 
and I do my best to accept the positive comments, you know. I'm really bad at like accepting gifts, you know, someone gives me a great gift I'm super excited about for my birthday or Christmas or whatever it may be, and I'm like, and I get it, and I don't have much of a reaction, even though I fucking love this, I don't know how to react because I'm bad at reacting, it's just like, it's all internal, I'm just that, I'm just that person, um, so nothing ever really affects me, honestly, nothing ever really affects me. Like, the fact that anyone can say anything at any time, regardless if they mean it or not, or believe it's true or not, is just the kicker, right? Like, as so well, why? Like, why would I Why would I waste my energy caring about it? That's just the real thing. What's going on? What's going on? What is this? Hmm. Is moose insurance a thing in Canada? If you have a pet moose, maybe. I'm not sure other than that, though. What time is it for you? It is 3.30. It is 3.30 for me. What is that? I kind of like Google. Um, what kind of person or qualities catch your eye in public? I don't know. I don't know. And when I'm out in public, I'm very bad. I'm very bad for like noticing things. I'm very bad for noticing things or like, yeah, I'm just, I'm very oblivious, I guess you could say. I'm very just like, I'm always thinking about something or planning something or like planning my next step or like, I'm never, I'm never really too like aware of what's going on around me to an extent. Like I'm like, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. If I need to worry about my surroundings and I need to like be cautious, sure, yes, I can do that. But like if I'm walking through a mall, I'm not paying attention to a bunch of different people or anything like that. I'm thinking about like, okay, what's the fastest fucking way to get to this next store? How am I going to get around these people that are going real slow in front of me? Avoiding the cinnamon bun stand that smells delicious. I just have like a whole sequence that's already going on. So I'm not really like trying to make eye contact with people in public. I'm not looking at anyone. I'm not really processing anything or whatever people are saying. It's just, yeah, it's just, yeah, it is what it is. So I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Um, someone says, how does he sound like a narcissist? Oh, I'm guessing someone said I sound like a narcissist. I don't understand a narcissist. Like, like, here's the thing. All the content I create and do, it's for you guys. It's for everyone else's entertainment, right? Um, if it were for me, I would just take it and just watch it myself. That's the thing. I feel like a lot of people think, here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. A lot of people think good looking content creators are narcissists because they're constantly filming themselves, constantly creating content. And they're like, how can they do this? They must be obsessed with themselves. Here's the thing though. It's not like this. It's not like I'm recording these videos and just watching them back on my phone and being like, look, I'm so fucking hot. Damn, look at this shit. No, no, no. I'm uploading it and I look forward to other people's reactions and them enjoying it. That's it. It's for other people's enjoyment. And I, that, that's the case for a lot of like content creators or influencers. It's always for their fan base. Chances are, chances are they don't even want to make the fucking video. Chances are they're exhausted and they're tired, but it's an idea that they think their fans are going to like, and they like their fucking community. And that's what it is. That's what you guys like. That's what a lot of people la like lack. To like comprehend just because the guy's good looking or the girl's good looking and they're making content and putting it out there of them being good looking other people get enjoyment out of that too it's entertainment it gets your hormones going it gets you like distracted or whatever whatever it may be everyone's a little bit different right so keep that in mind when you're just like out there judging a bunch of people making content it's usually for the audience it's usually for the audience 99.9% .9 of the time it is I get recognized all the time. I get recognized all the time out there. It's cool though, because like a lot of people very respectfully say, hey, maybe take a picture, whatever it may be, and you go about your day. So it's great. Like the thing that gets me excited about content is as I have an idea and I make it. Sometimes it sucks to make, sometimes it's really hard. 
holding a position or whatever it may be is hard as fuck. But when it's all done, when it's all said and done and you upload it and you get people like people that are always there commenting and they enjoy it and they love it and they share it, it feels good and you want to do more for them. That's what it is. When is the first time you got recognized? It was years ago for sure. Years ago when I was only on Instagram. I wasn't using TikTok yet. But I can't remember. I can't remember. I know it was a long time ago because I've been getting recognized for a few years now. Um, and all of them have been very normal. Maybe it was at the gym. It was either at the mall or at the gym. Yeah. I, I couldn't tell you exactly. Who's your photographer? Me. All of my content I do myself. Where did you learn to transition your videos? I, you just watch other TikTokers and you like you just you just try it and you improve it. It's kind of like a like I was I was absolutely horrible when I started, but now I've gotten pretty good because I've done it so many times. And it's a little bit of luck too with timing and everything. It's a little bit of luck. Sometimes it takes like you got to go at it again and again and again to get the right transition you're looking for. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for all the tips and the likes, everyone. I appreciate it. If you're spamming likes, we're almost at a million likes. Thank you for spamming me with likes. I appreciate it. Thank you for all the tips too. Sarah, thank you for all the roses. You're a gem. You're an absolute gem, Sarah. Thank you for the love. Your bracelet have any meaning or it's a gift? It's a gift. A fan sent it to me. It came in the fan mail. It's for uh, health and luck, I think. Health and luck. And I like being healthy, and I don't mind some good luck, so I uh, thought I'd wear it. It's nice. it's nice. It's a little tight, though. It's a little tight, so I take it off from time to time, but it's nice. I like it. Where do you get your costumes from? Sim Cosplay. They're all from Sim Cosplay.
where you can cast whatever your, is on your computer to your phone and live stream it. I don't have that feature, unfortunately. I would love to fucking have it because then I can use a much better quality camera. I can be on like the browser or watching TikToks with you guys or whatever it may be. But unfortunately, I don't have the feature yet. For some reason, TikTok just hasn't rolled it out to me. I've sent in a request for it and everything. I haven't gotten it yet. Um, hopefully one day and then I can up, up the like live stream. I plan on being like, guys, in the future here, when I do unlock that feature and TikTok kind of um, evolves its, as a live streaming platform a little bit, I do plan on doing a lot more on TikTok. Like, I plan on being live a lot more, a lot longer, doing a lot more, because um, it's a lot more.